Hello, this is Owen Bullig here to teach you a quick tip to improve the efficiency of your contact scripting. With this trick, you will be able to make quick changes within a text editor that will then transfer over to the instrument that you're creating. So to view your script, of course, you click this button right here. And many people tend to make adjustments to their code inside of this script editor. If you can't see it, then just make sure to toggle this button right here and then unlock with this edit button. You can make adjustments. Like for example, if we wanted to change the X position of this slider, we could come over here to the X position and change this to 120. And if we then push this apply button, you'll see this control move over. Now this is good for simple interfaces, um, simple instruments, but for more complicated instruments, you will want to be able to scan through your script easily, um, which you can do within a uh, script editor like Sublime. So I'll show you right here. You have um, the instrument that you're working on, the folder in which it is. Then you have an instruments folder, a resources folder, and then a samples folder for the samples you're using with the instrument. And then you'll see these NKCs and NKRs. Um, and I'll show you how to make that. First, you make a resources folder and within that resources folder you will have a scripts folder and then i have a code that is just called tab1.txt so you can open that up so all you have to do is come in here select everything copy it and paste it into your text editor. So now that you have this um, text file, what you can do is you can see that it's, as I said before, it's in that scripts folder inside of the resources folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here, push instrument options, and then push create on this instrument tab in the resource container section. So push create. And right here, uh, you can just type in what I do is RC for resource container, press enter. In this case, it already exists, but in your case, it might be different. Just push yes. And now you can close out of this. And right now it has editor patch selected. We're instead going to go to resource folder and we'll see something pop up that is tab one. And we click that. <clears throat> so now what you can do is make changes in the code, like changing this 120 down to just 20. And then if you save this script and then push apply, it jumps over to here. And you can also make changes like changing this to zero, pushing save and push this exclamation mark and it will also make the adjustment. So be warned that sometimes you will make errors such as putting in no variable, no input value for this uh, control par position Y. And if you push save, and then exclamation mark, nothing happens. So be warned that sometimes you will have to push this apply button, which will then show you where errors have been made. So now we can fix it and put it back to where it was before and push save, apply, and now that error is gone. This is really beneficial for when you have long, complicated code that you want to do things like the find feature that is in text editors, including Sublime. So if I want to find references to the filter cutoff slider,
I can do that simply by typing it in the find feature. This will massively increase the efficiency of your code and also allow you to use syntax coloring like I have here specifically for KSP. Leave a comment below about anything in this tutorial that confused you or any other tips that you would like me to teach you about in a short video in the future. I thank you and I hope this was really beneficial for you.